worst excesses. Yeah, easy to see why Dirk van Dijvenbode is a very overwhelming odds-on favourite to win this one. He's in the 1-6 to six bracket or so, given his pedigree this year. Not just on the European Tour stage, of course, but on the Pro Tour as well. A two-time winner on the Pro Tour in the Players' Championship Series. Winning his first title of 2022 against Ryan Searle and then that emphatic... 8-0 win against Gabriel Clemens in the 18th Players' Championship event of the year. Three times a quarter-finalist on the European five. Tour as well. A finalist at the World Series event in Amsterdam. And also a finalist at the World Series finals also in Amsterdam. Dirk van Dijvenbode is once again threatening big things at the end of a calendar year. Not for the first time. Yeah, I, I've, I've been saying for a long while, I think that there's a stage title on the way. I thought it was going to be the World Series finals and he was so agonisingly close to that. I thought it might have been one of these European one tour events. To be honest, there seems to be some mental block in him beating Michael Van Gerwen, although he is seemingly overcoming it. But it's one thing playing brilliantly. And yes, he's won a couple of titles. 96. You've got to make hay because if you're in form, if you're playing brilliantly, you don't know how long that's going to last. So make the most of it turn that brilliance into titles 96. as titles open doors to all sorts of things gets you in big events all over the place we always see him at the grand slam of course because of the world series final yep. and even before he'd hit the heights of world grand prix finals he was making semi-finals well, on the european tour 40. as well something he this achieved right at the start 100. of 2020 when he made the last four of the belgian darts championship van dyvenboda the 152 is not going to go. Jason Lowe with an outside chance of an early Jason break. Looking at 141. Jason Lowe has to be better than he was yesterday against Manuel Valerio. If he isn't, then Dirk van Dijvenbode is going to take him to the cleaners. 60. Dirk, you require 96. Yeah, we'll touch upon that in a bit more detail in due course. Van Dijvenbode looking at 76 now. Double, double. Double, double, yeah. 56. Jason, you require 81. 19s for 12, I suspect, given the way he's looking down at that portion of the board. He's found the treble 19, so double 12 here for Jason Lowe. Nicely done, 17 player. dart, a two dart combination, and the added bonus of the break of throw. Yeah, you, you're absolutely Jason right, Dan. Yesterday against Valerio, 6-2 in off. the end. He led 5-0, he just opened the door for Valerio late on, but six darts out of 25 on the doubles. An average of 80 and a bit. Ten missed starts at a double in the first two legs as well. So he, he sharpened up a little bit, but the warning signs were there. That is his first 180 of the whole weekend. So the early signs are Jason Lowe is better than he was yesterday, which we knew would have to be the case. Yeah, this is his first European Tour event since the International Darts Open at the end of 2020. Almost pretty much two years ago to the day, uh, that one. It's a long, long 134. And not a huge amount of stage tournaments plays. Not a player who's been qualifying for things like the match play and the Grand Prix, things like that. 140. So while they're, you know, World Championships and the UK Open with no Euro Tours, then getting up on a stage, playing in front of the cameras, playing in front of fans, can feel an alien experience. And as he said about making hay, this is a, you know, it's an opportunity. Now Lowe's here to just put some Whoa! ranking money on the board. Look at his order of merit position as well. In the 50s bracket, he's looking over his shoulder. Mm, now then, needs to find a treble. Doesn't rescue it. He, at the very least, he should have had a dart at the bullseye there, but he's not managed to stay straight. And that 180 from Dirk van Dijvenbode. 54. Has Dirk brought him a chance to hit back immediately. Yeah, big deep breath from Dirk as he steps up. Game shot and dart at tops, and that's uh, an 11 dart to hit back after the early setback of the early break by Jason Lowe. Good response by Dirk. Pretty the much what we expect of him. Game on. feel with Dirk he's sitting on a bed of nitroglycerine at times even at the even when he's looking calm you just suspect that he might just combust 
at any given moment when things aren't going to plan or going his way. 58. Well, Dirk's got away with that as well because he kicked off with 58 and Lowe has responded with 58. So Lowe hasn't been able to punish Van Dijvenboda on this occasion. 51. But Dirk has backed it up with another sluggish visit as well. This leg has yet to get going and Jason Lowe can make another move here. 59. We said yesterday in Jason Lowe's game, maybe... It only takes one good weekend, one good game, and all of a sudden he can click back into the old Jason Lowe that we saw in his early days of the Tour card holder and in the years before. He, he, he just wasn't in a position to play the Tour. He was working, he had a family, he just didn't have the time to commit to playing PDC darts. He's actually, it was literally the toss of a coin that decided yeah. whether he was going to go to Q school. 97. The other thing was, when he went to Q School and came through in 2020, then we had COVID. It was that difficult situation, 100. that difficult time where, having done all the hard work of getting through Q School, it was then a, just a huge amount of uncertainty. And he must have been, as you say, that flip of the coin moment, he must have been looking back on that and thinking, well, if I'd known what was going to happen then, maybe it would have been a different course of action. Yeah, well, this year's probably, I think, for, for some players, and Jason Lowe perhaps included, this is the first year where it has been a full calendar as normal. 96. And even players who are veterans of it, who've played Premier League and World Series and all the big TV tournaments, once you chuck in all the European Tour events, even some of them have gone, I've kind of forgotten how full on this is. Yeah. You know? seen a lot of players dropping out of the Ultimately, you don't have to play 100. everything, just manage your schedule and make sure you're not dropping out late after they've already done the qualifiers. Yeah. That's the issue. Double ten. 18. Right on the wire, Jason, it's a trickier shot that faces Jason Lowe. 18. Mm, well, too tricky. Oh. No, bit of a horror show from uh, Jason Lowe. And it's, uh, well, it's not a, I mean, it's, it's a gettable target if he gets the opportunity. He might well get away with this because no Dirk has... Not found Jason at double Lee 10 with one any one of those one three one darts one. in hand. So Jason Lowe will return looking at 1-1-0. One, 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 and after that horror show last time around, he could make amends here. 90 is the target now. So over to the 18s. Gets the treble. 92. Do you know what? I thought he was going to pull that one Jason out of the bag. It's a magnificent setup shot of 13. It really looked like he was going to get the 1-10 yeah, check out. But Dirk van Dijvenboer gets Dijvenboer his nose in front for the first time in this Four contest. Nine, Jason two for fifth. Game on. Yeah, and that, that bed of nitroglycerine that I was talking about for Dirk might have just been a bit more intense for him as well there had uh, Jason Lowe found a way through with that 1-1-0. Anyway, on we go. Um, effectively on throw here, 2-1. 100. One break apiece already. 85. A uh, landmark coming up for Jason Lowe. His 50th birthday at the end of October as well. So that's uh, something else to zoom in on for him on a personal level. Is there a party? 140. I will have to ask RMC for Fancy Brzezinski Castle. maybe about his uh, plans. Fancy Castle, jelly and ice cream. Or go down Laser Quest. <laughs> Just imagine what like Alan's having at Laser Quest with Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> I don't know why I thought of Alan Tabin, but I just thought I know they're quite good mates, aren't I, they? But I'd yeah. go to Laser Quest with Jason though and Alan Tabin. And anybody who says they wouldn't is lying. Fifty seven. He would as well. Yes. He, yeah, he can't wait. Hands up if you want to go wait. laser questing with Alan Tabin yeah, and Jason Lowe. You're not invited, pal. <laughs> <laughs> so one hundred. They're not invited, definitely. Uh, too busy with the bounce for uh, laser quest with taps. 100. Chips away. 180 is the number that that man is thinking of. He is not going to produce it. And he is not even Jason going to leave himself a finish. Yeah, it's not really happening for Dirk at the moment in this one. He's okay, he's in the lead, but he's not settled at all in. 
the early stages of this by any stretch of the imagination. And it's just Not as well that Jason Lowe is at times on a par with what he was doing yesterday against Valerio. Well, you expect, look, 93. Van Dijvenboot is the biggest 180 hitter this year. He's eight. averaging in the mid to high 90s for the entire year in all tournaments. You expect he's going to improve because he's a good 10, 11 points off that in the averages right now. The but it is two all. Jason Lowe, deflected to Lopez in Mark. I think Mark said yesterday in commentary that Dirk may not be that keen on the speed of the game because Jason Lowe is a methodical player. I don't think it bothers Dirk that much. I remember in his run to the Grand Prix final, he was playing Simon yeah. Whitlock, who was taking forever because he'd walk all the way down the stage in a big triangle to get back. It was 100. taking hours for sets to be completed. And Dirk just shrugged it off. He can play fast, he can play slow. But lots of different no, ways of playing the game. I do think he's best when he's rattling through his visit. Yeah, I think there is this cliche with uh, Van Dijven Bode that he is this high-octane character, therefore he appreciates a more high-octane encounter. I, I, I totally agree. I don't think that's necessarily the case. 132. Concentrate. Big moment, this. 265 plays 269. Well, he's trimmed off the 65, but low. Big visit here from nowhere, and all of a sudden may well start harbouring ambitions of another break of throw. But it looks as though it's going to be another visit without a trouble. Awesome. And it's so often about the timing and when Jason Lowe's had the chance to make his move, he's not really not done so. But he's getting away with it so far. He's still in touch at two apiece. And even now he's still got half a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Back up to the 20s now. 59. He does get Did to a finish. Dirk very much in the box seat in this leg. Finds his way to the 54. He can. Double 16. Game 15 data. Time to check out first Dirk of the match. 3 2 Dirk Van Dijvenboe. Yeah, a much needed moment of uh, fuel injection for Dirk Van Dijvenboe there. The 104 check out. A little reminder of what we know he can do. But. We still remain to be convinced, but you'd rather be in Van Dijvenboda's camp right now. Another change of shirt for the monkey slash bear. Uh, that might be a new one for the monkey. You got one hundred monkey slash bear. It's, it's <laughs> oh monkey. Oh well, that is a new one. We know what that is. It's a bear, right? It's an eggplant. <laughs> 45. Yeah, not too much genius from the Aubergineus so far. 100. Just that little awesome. half step, a very Whitlock manoeuvre. The dart can look absolutely perfect, but just by changing the angle of attack by a tiny, tiny amount, it just means you've got more of that dart, more of the metal to aim for to clatter 100. off it when it's sliding down it at an angle. And there's, there's method in it, there's science in it. There, he's just stayed where he is. 100. It actually worked out. Maybe that's something to do with the reaction. But he's managed to get to a finish after three visits to the board, and that's something that Dirk van Dijvenboda does as regularly as almost anybody on the planet. He scores 100. so heavily and puts himself in this position. Dirk, you require it means he's got a chance to win the leg in four visits. If Jason hadn't left a finish, he could set it up from here. But it's about giving yourself options. Ooh, can't give himself an option on the bullseye. But he does set it up, and he's forcing Jason, Jason Lowe to take out something massive. Yeah, this is it. Lowe has uh, got his back against the wall here with this 156 because Van Dijvenboda is poised and ready to establish another break of throw, and the first dart tells its own story. The reaction as well is clearly evident on the face of Jason Lowe. It's another visit without a trouble. He needed two there to give himself a shot. At the double 18, it wasn't to be. Van Dijvenboda here for a 4 2 lead, looking Game at tops, and that's a 14 data to back Dirk up the 104 checkout. And things are just slowly Seven beginning to click Dirk into Dirk place here for Dirk Van Dijvenboda, who Game may off. well be mindful of the fact that this time last year he had a second round defeat by Ted Everts in Gibraltar, came here as one of the seeded players, but fell at the first hurdle. 134. Yeah, there's a little nod to whoever's with him in the crowd. Might be his partner, might be one of his mates, but that two-leg gap has now opened up for the first time in the match. 
and Dirk will feel like he's in control of the contest. Which, even if Valti was the better player for the first five and a half legs of that, it, you could never say he was in control of it. Yeah, it is his partner, by 57. the way. Uh, there she is. Saw them at breakfast earlier on today. Do you want to know what Dirk has for breakfast, or shall I keep that a secret? Breakfast of champions. It was an absolute small... Well, it wasn't yeah! literally a small but it was a wide variety of things. Was any over Sadly not. I, I suspect had there been, he may have partaken in a bit of aubergine with honey, maybe. But 94. Uh, Don't guess. Stop guessing about whether he'd have eaten... I, I want facts. There was a piece of toast, there was a croissant, there was a slice of cheese, there was a fried egg on that plate. There we go. That's a mixture. The breakfast inspector has logged on. 41. This is the sort of detail that people want to know. They want to, if they want to emulate... This is the sort of detail people are getting. Whether they <laughs> want it or not is a completely different Any question. Any young uh, aspiring Whoa! players out there who want to emulate Van Bergen Bode and the giant strides he's made over the past two or three years, that's what he has for breakfast. There we go. Well, Never mind your shredded wheat. He's just produced his second 180. Again, Jason, yeah. There's just some loose starts here and there for Jason Lowe. He is better than yesterday, but it doesn't look like he's good enough. Because that is a 14 data. Dirk van Dijvenbode has gone from being in a battle to being in control to now being in total control of this contest. One leg away from a meeting with either Vincent van der Voort or Nathan Aspinall. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Van Dijvenbode won't be uh, covering himself in too much glory when he gives himself a self-appraisal of this one. There's clearly he'll identify that there's improvements been made ahead of a third round match against either Aspinall or Van der Voort tomorrow. But um, yeah, he's got That's better and better as this match has progressed. And he's had to. And even when darts are falling on the floor, he's still coming away with a ton 20. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's show you the winning legs in this game for Dirk van Dijvenbode. Because there is one shocking one in that third leg, which was a 22 dart. But the other ones, 11 data, 2 14 data, and a 15 data. There's the bounce out that we saw there. Would have been 180 number three. The, the, the winning legs, apart from that shocker, have been good. And the two legs he's lost, he has missed darts to win them. It could have been an absolute trouncing. Oh, no, he didn't get a dart in leg four. Beg your pardon. There we go. But still missed a dart in the opening leg. So he still could have had had this wrapped up already 140. Yeah. and it has limited Jason Lowe to just three darts at double and he could well end up coming away with a, an average of around about 95 in this one, but, you know Jason, you require factoring in that loose third leg is what you need to do Ooh, is he going to go for this of course he is is he Ooh. 142. Oh. Ripple of applause from this Gibraltar crowd. Are they a knowledgeable Gibraltar crowd? I don't know. I think it was, a, I think it was the wrong shot, 25. so I'd suggest no. <laughs> but they want to be entertained. This ripple of applause from this demanding Gibraltar crowd. Yes. Anyway, double eight. I mean, it was a good miss. He uh, got the 25 off, so... Nine double eight and now double four is the target. And Jason Lowe with a hold of throw. And it just brings to an end that mini sequence of three legs without reply by Dirk van Dijvenbode. Just stops the rock and Dirk though on throw. But only starting off with 57. I mean he's did that a couple of times earlier on as well. In that third leg in particular. 99. And the fourth leg that he lost, that was a, another leg that he started slowly. Fifty-seven. Yeah, 114 from six darts. But can Jason Lowe make his move? First dart suggests he may not. The second dart is likewise off target. 40. And that's, that's been the story of Jason Lowe's match, in particular in this second half of the match. Yeah, and whenever you think there might be a little opportunity for him, he's not able to capitalise on it. Yeah. 81. And likewise there, Van Dijvenbode in turn hasn't fully capitalised on the low slip. It's another potentially scratchy leg, but Van Dijvenbode is just about in control of, or at least he was. 140. 
pushes ahead. Not by a decisive amount as yet. Hopefully not when this man can hit treble 20 at will. And once again, he's down to... Even despite back-to-back -back troubleless visits, all of a sudden, a couple of big trebles and he's down to a finish. 100. Do you require 100? Probably rather be in dirt shoes in this leg. Certainly would in the match. 47. Jason, well, you require 120. Door is a jar once again for Jason Lowe, looking at the 18s at the first time of asking. Gets the treble as well. How does he back it up? Just the single. Bulls eye again. Closer than he was with his last attempt, but still just the 25. But Van Dijvenberg is going to have to find this Shanghai on 20s. He's done the hard part. Takes a little step to the side and then back over to the right hand side of the hockey to find a way through. 100. Max Jason, you require 25. Jason Lowe tidied up the 25 in the last leg. He's going to have to be on double four again. And pins double four again, and Dirk Van Dijvenboda cannot put this one to bed. Yeah, and a little wonder there's a puff of the cheeks from Dirk Van Dijvenboda. Match dart at tops, where he had to manoeuvre over to the right-hand side. Wasn't close to that double 20 bed in the end, but Jason Lowe, on this occasion, making the most of the opportunity with the double, and all of a sudden... Anxious times for Dirk. 134. Loads of room for more. Oh, 100. A disappointing ton for Jason Lowe after the first dart. Yeah. A ton's a ton, but some are better than others. Again, great One cover shooting on the 19s for Dirk Van Dijvenboda. Back to back 1 3 4s. And he'll probably start on the 19s when he comes back to the board to try and give himself a, a decent chance of either leaving 100 or getting down to a finish of some sort. 100. Well, he's staying up. 140. Okay. Yeah, it's a good effect as well. Two darts away, maybe an 11 darter to round things off for Dirk van Dijvenboda. Yeah, it would be a second 11 of the match. But that is a fabulous shot from Jason Lowe, just to remind him the game isn't won yet. And this is the treble 19 that would have left double 16. Still the door open for Jason Lowe here. 61. Hitting a double to leave the double. Very Jose de Souza. Look at this for a level game. Oh, Jason Lowe with a 14 data. Back from the dead, Jason Lowe has tied it up at five apiece. Well, maybe, just maybe, echoes of Gibraltar 21 for Dirt Van Dijvenboda. A 6-5 defeat in the second round against Ted Ebbets 12 months ago. It will be 6-5 again, but will it be in his favour? 5-2 down, Jason Lowe. Back on terms at five apiece. 83. And all of a sudden, Dirk van Dijvenboda is looking a little bit hot and bothered. 140. I mean, he had some good approach play, didn't he, there, Dirk, as well? I mean, it, it, on, he, a double on, on the 19s, you know, he couldn't argue a lot with what he was doing. Here comes Jason Lowe. 140. Well, credit Jason Lowe because he's had an awful year. This is his first Euro Tour appearance of the year and he's somehow found a way to drag himself back into this contest. Once again, Dirk van Dijvenboda leaves himself a finish after three visits. Can Jason Lowe do the same? Ah. No, he can't. 45. Well, that was his downfall at the midway point of this match when Dirk was able to kick on those visits without a trouble. 65. That leaves 80. A two-trouble visit here for Jason. 
And he's still got a chance. Dirk is going to get a match dart, maybe a couple. He probably needed a second one. One, three, three. three. It's an awfully yeah. tall order if he's allowed to go. 93 would have been manageable and here we go just one dart at tops for Dirk van Dijvenbode and he's missed it and yeah that that could make such a difference for Jason Lowe if he was looking at 93 here two dart combination you'd fancy his chances 1-3-3 a huge tall order to save the match but you never know oh ho, ho, ho. And that's as much reaction as you'll get from Jason Lowe. He nearly stole this away. He might yet, but Dirk has got to miss three for the match. And he does not miss any more. It could have been wrapped up 6-1 or 6-2. But Dirk van Dijvenboda pushed all the way by Jason Lowe, who grew and grew and grew into that contest. But it is the overgenius who makes it through to the final day and will face either Nathan Aspinall or Vincent van der Voort. That's four games down, four more to come for you this afternoon. Aspinall versus van der Voort will round off this session of action, but game number five sees the UK Open champion Danny Nopper.